What's going on, Bigfoot World? Me and Fred just got back from the caves, and uh, I want to touch base with you before I upload this next series of videos and kind of explain to you what's going on. Okay, uh, BB Hunter, we did exactly what you asked. We, I went when we first got down into the hole. I used the same same flashlight as last time, and I shined in the same like three or four areas that we thought we we might have seen something or heard something in that area. We wasn't I wasn't exactly sure which spot it was, but it's that that spot that that picture was is we got from the previous time we was there we filmed to see if that was a rock or if it was actually a Bigfoot sitting there but uh, I want to explain what to look for in this video so far that I've noticed you guys will probably no notice a lot more throughout okay when me and Fred first got there we decided to look for the, f the bottom cave the cave on further back we we're trying to find an entrance to that and somehow Somewhere along the line, me and Fred got separated, and uh, we couldn't find each other for a while. And we both on top of the mountain. We was, we was lost. And I watched both my footage and his footage, and I don't know where or how we got separated, but we found each other. And uh, when we were inside this cave, there's there's three things I want you to notice because. Uh, when we was in there, the memory cards filled up pretty quick and the battery went dead. I heard a little girl, when we got down to the main entrance where they, they barricaded up, I heard a little girl say mommy as in a sense of like, she's asking a question as if we were like, are you my mommy? I got the feeling I heard her say mommy. And I also heard it once before when Fred first went down there by himself. I heard on on the recording. I'm sure a couple of you guys heard it too. But when we're we're walking away from the main entrance, and Fred, it's on Fred's footage. I, it's not on my footage. It's on the the film the footage that Fred's filming. He says, "I see something moving." Take notice down to the left side of where they barricaded it up. You can see where the light's coming in. All right, back it up a little bit before that, and you'll see that it's all blacked out, and then it opens up. The light just opens up like something stepped away from down there where that that main entrance was, where they, they uh, barricaded it up or whatever. Okay, and then we went deeper back into the cave, and then there was these rock structures, guys, that no human can possibly... Okay, the first rock structure we find was... We both have it on, on our footage. I might have to put these up in parts. Um, that's on my footage and on Fred's footage. The second rock structure that we found inside there... I don't see no humans building either one of these structures because the second structure, the rocks, was like... One was here, one was here, and one was back over here, and then they was back and forth, but they was balancing each other. It, it, it was amazing. It was fascinating. We found another exit out, like 30 feet back behind where we went in. We ended up coming out a whole different area, a whole different... There's, a, there's two entrances and exits coming in and out of that cave. But um, I guess with that, guys... I'm going to hurry up and upload these and get them, get them going. I hope you guys enjoyed it because it was very interesting for us, it, to say the least. Once we got inside that cave, things got weird. You can smell them. You can smell it's in there. You can smell that they're in there. It, it's way more mustier today than it was last time. It, it's you can smell them in there it's and you can see the signs of them being in there this footage is amazing stay tuned guys